My name is Janaki the Breaker, and I'm a senior in the College of Letters and Sciences, majoring in Computer Science and Applied Math, with a concentration in Data Science. I'm Rebecca Kostoeva, and I graduated recently from UC Berkeley with a double major in Computer Science and Applied Mathematics. So Rebecca and I both met in a course called Computer Science 160, which is for user interface design and development. And we met as a randomly formed group of peers. We were faced with the task of creating a project in the space of access and ability. We were told to brainstorm over 50 ideas. And one of the most compelling ideas to us as music lovers was creating a musical experience for deaf and hard of hearing individuals. We jumped into doing user interviews to understand more about our target. We didn't have very much experience with deaf and hard of hearing individuals experiences and so we learned a lot in this process. And eventually we worked our way towards building out an entire application on the Android mobile platform. What came out of Computer Science 160 under the theme of access and accessibility was vibrato. Vibrato is a customizable musical experience for deaf and hard of hearing individuals that augments their musical experiences through haptic vibration, adjustable bass and volume levers, and an on-screen visualization with lyrics. Vibrato synthesizes the tactile, auditory, and visual components of musical experiences into one interface. In Computer Science 160, Professor Eric Paulos inspired us to take our project sort of beyond the classroom. We had so many different opportunities to carry this project forward. For example, through the Jacobs Innovation Catalyst Grant Program, where we earned the Ignite Grant and were able to continue building out Vibrato using the makerspace resources at Jacobs Hall. With access to 3D printing and laser cutting, we were able to create a lens which we could use as an HUD and therefore add an AR component to our current application. Vibrato is still a project that Rebecca and I are working on and this is really exciting for us because we're hoping to interview more users and we're hoping to find out more ways that we can engage with the deaf and hard of hearing community while bringing more novel technology into our product such as AR and VR.